So guys, welcome to your 23rd After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be going over 3D, your intro to 3D. So go ahead and create a new composition. You can either uh, put an image on there, or you can go ahead and put a video file. It's not going to matter for this tutorial. I'm working with a video file. And the first thing I want you to do is go ahead to your first layer. Again, it doesn't matter what it is. And check out the position and scale properties. Now again, the position is the position along the x-axis and the y-axis, and the scale is of course the height and width of the image. Now again, what I want you to take note of more importantly than that, is that there's only two attributes on either one of these. But with 3D, you need a third attribute. So go ahead and make sure you have that uh, this little thing, Q, popped up, and if you don't have it popped up, press F4 and it'll pop up and right under the cube go ahead and click that checkbox and what that checkbox is going to do is add a third attribute to any images or any of your properties that you can be working with 3D such as position and scale and go ahead and change that third attribute right now by scrubbing the value now again like I said the first one is the x-axis which goes left and right the second one is the y-axis which goes up and down and the third one is called the z-axis and the z-axis goes um goes I don't know how to describe it towards me and outwards so again that's up and down left and right and inners and outwards so if you move the position along the z-axis it either gets farther away or closer to you but no even though the size is changing the scale isn't changing at all and this is because it's not actually changing it's just changing the position for example, it's just moving farther away and closer to us. And this is the same thing with scale. Um, you can either scale it along the x-axis or y, or in this case it's all locked so it doesn't matter. So another thing that you can do if this is kind of hard to understand um, still, is right here, this is your camera angle on what you're viewing your composition. Now if you want to view it from the front, that's what we're doing by default. If you want to view your composition from the top, go ahead and press top. And as you can see, you can't see anything. And this is because uh, just regular pictures, they aren't 3D. So what we need to do is view it from an angle. And custom view 3 is a good angle. And here's where you can see. Now if you go ahead and change position, uh, you get a better view of what the Z axis is. Again, we would be sitting somewhere right here and the z-axis would bring it closer to us or further away from us and if it bring it closer to us it would make it appear bigger further away from us would make it appear smaller again with scale it would increase the whole thing and this would also make it appear bigger or decreasing it would also make it appear smaller so another thing that i want to talk to you guys about um, aside from what are they position and scale is also rotation so let's go ahead and change the active camera, or you can change it to the front, it doesn't matter. And aside from X and Y rotation, you also have a Z rotation. Now what X rotation is, is when you scrub this value, it's going to change it so it rotates over the X axis. And by rotating over the X axis, which is left and right, it flips up and down. By rotating over the Z axis, it goes left and right and by rotating over the Z axis it just spins around because that axis is pointing towards us. So that is how you can manipulate 2D images to work in 3D. And again you can um, uh, what's it called? animate these just like you would any other. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's first change the position so it's pretty far out and let's go ahead and make a keyframe right there next let's go ahead and actually let's zoom in we only want this animation about three seconds long so we'll put it right about there and we'll make another position actually just change that to zero and now you see um, instead of just animating in 2D it's actually growing towards us and we can combine this with other uh, keyframes as well such as rotation so say we wanted to animate um, X rotation just go over there and then here we can add another one say have it spin five times or something so now once we play our animation it's not only going to be getting closer to us but it's also going to be flipping over the y-axis 
such as that and it's and it's uh, spinning a little bit over the y-axis because I was playing around with it right here but now if we go ahead and look at our animation you can see we now have turned our 2d image into a 3d effect and this is a cool effect uh, that you can use and it's a neat little um, enhancement in After Effects so uh, for this tutorial those are the real basics of 3D and again let me show you this at a different angle uh, if we play it from this angle we can see it just uh, that might be a little more clear to you uh, maybe not but oh well but for now I just wanted to give you guys the basics of working with 3D in After Effects and key notes to point out here if you ever are working and you can't see your image that probably means that your camera angle is looking directly at it at an angle and remember um, 2D images have no depth so that's why you might not be able to see it but for now this tutorial is getting kinda long so thank you guys for watching uh, in my next tutorial I'll clear things up and uh, teach you guys some other cool 3D tricks but for now don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next tutorial.